Well, race five is the Viking flagship Maiden Chase. All five-year-olds are at odds over two and a half miles. And the top one is Al Sada showing for Ryan Costello. A moralist for Willie Mullins, Cypress Hill, David Robertson, Long Hall for Graham Clutterbuck, Sast and Nakam for Leon Van Rensburg, who has given me some great names to say. Shining Bright for Craig Beckwith, Sonic, Khan, Jim Murray, Confessions of Anna Sassin, Paul Rhodes, Dyer Brader, Craig Allen, Fond Taft, David Hooley, Glowing Shrew, James Shea, Overcome Scimitar, Alex Cherry, Rally Gazelle, John Morgan, Romana Martin Lidham, The Killer Queen, Joshua Sutherland, Under His Eye, Ryan Tamasevi, and Whistling Sarah for Darren Thompson. So 17 this time then. We'll face the starter pretty much in front of the stands. Away they go then with the grey Sasta Nakam, one of the first to show. And shining bright closest to us with a moralist or Willie Mullins on the near side. He's probably just about going to take a share of the lead then as they race away from the stands and get towards the first of the 14 fences in this first open chase of the new season with a moralist and Sasta Nakam in second. I haven't had a look to see if Unand Liska Shichka is back this season, but I'm sure Leon's got some good ones for me anyway. And it's Sasta Nakam in the lead then from a moralist second, gap back to Long Hall in third, then under his eyes fourth, Sonic Car after that one and Rally Gazelle as they finally get to the first of the 14 fences. One or two shoddy looking jumps, including the Killer Queen and Fond Tarf, but it's a moralist who's in front. From the grey Sasta Nakam in second, then comes under his iron long haul. After that one is Confessions of an Assassin and Rally Gazelle. This is the first of the ditches which they have all successfully negotiated with Al Sada Shine. Just the back marker and only just in shot. But this is a plain one, it's number three, and the leader did not jump it well at all. Went right through the top of it, so too did Fond Tarf at the back. But Sasta Nakam has been lifting the lead then there, so it's Grey's top and tail in the field at the moment. But a moralist is coming back up on the inside jump that ditch much better as a faller there somebody's gone whistling sarah's gone so whistling sarah is a faller at that one with sasta nakam in the lead then a moralist is second bit of a gap back to rally gazelle and sonic carmen under his eye and long haul then comes confessions of an assassin with wider on the track overcomes scimitar then shining bright now sada shine is now moving through the pack a little bit looking towards the back of the field romana is the back marker but isn't in shot and it's sasta nakam and a moralist then disputing the lead as they take fence number five which they've all got to the other side of you can just see the back markers getting into shot for a second or two there as they take this play one it's number six and it's Sasta Nakam who made the first of the mistakes there also mistakes a long haul and the novice race earlier they were jumping much better than this and it's a moralist who's now gone into the lead and jumped that one really well they all got over that one okay as they race up past the stand then they'll get a good view of them over that one which will be the last on the next circuit but it's a moralist who leads by about a length to Sasta Nakam in second gap of three then to Sonic Khan who's third then comes under his eye four and Rally Gazelle five Long Hall is six and Cypress Hill is seven and then comes over comes Shimitar and Confessions of an Assassin's after that one and then Glowing Shrew and the Killer Queen with Shining Bright next and then Dela Breda, Fond Tarf still, still there after a couple of mistakes early on. Al Sada, Shine and Romana are the back two. But it's Sasta Nakam and A Moralist disputing the lead then as they race into the final mile. Sasta Nakam the grey in front from A Moralist second. Under his arm moving nicely into third. Then comes Sonic Khan and Long Haul as they take this next plane one. They're all safely over that one as well. And Sasta Nakam leads by about a half to a Morley second. Under his eye going well in third. Rally Gazelle getting closer. Then comes Sonic Khan. Long Hall is trying to get into it. Over on the far side, Confessions of an Assassin is trying to get closer as well as they take that ditch, which they've all safely got over. And it's almost five in a line now. And as they race towards the next, five in a line really with Confessions of Assassin on the outside. But he made a mistake there and surrendered the lead back to Sasta Nakam. But now under his eye coming through with a challenge. It's under his eye and Sasta Nakam. Sonic Khan on his third confession to an assassin he's trying to fight back in fourth a morris looks to be beaten as they get over the 11th they've got three more fences to take and under his eyes in the lead sasta nakam under pressure in second then comes confessions of an assassin and sonic can't quit around the outside down really well he's overcome shimitar one or two of them running really wide on the turn but it's under his eye in the lead now then kicks on with three furlongs to go it's under his eye in the lead he's quickly on two or three clear from sasta nakam who looks a little bit one paced then comes sonic can't confessions of an assassin he's trying to get in 
injury, overcomes Scimitar next, this is the third last, good jump by the leader, over his eyes, got away from it well, it's under his eye in the lead, overcomes Scimitar, has now moved into second, over to second last, and they've got to get to this under his eye, who's well clear, now Confessions of Assassin is in hot pursuit, as they race downhill towards the final fence then, and it's under his eye, Jack has to look over, skips over it nicely, gets away from it well, overcomes Scimitar's trying to come out of the pack, but this is going to be one for Ryan Tamasemi as they race up towards the line, it's going to be under his eye, it's going to take him a good easy three lengths up towards the line under his eye takes the confessions of an assassin second in Sass to knock out Dana Braden ran on well and a moralist drops out to be last after leading for quite a long way and it's Ryan Tamasebi's first winner of the season back in the commentary box this season after a few years away as well uh, we'll be hearing from him later I think he's at Hereford today but under his eye takes it for Ryan Tamasebi confession to an assassin for Paul Rose's second Sasta Nakam for Leon Van Rensburg was third Dahlia Brader for Craig Allen fourth and Cypress Hill ran on from nowhere for David Robertson to be fifth